the lion signifies strength dignity pride and of course power for centuries this place has wielded power arguably a tad disproportionate to its size around 2 millennia ago however to the outside world this place was considered an unknown and mysterious land across the sea in the mid 1st century a great army descended upon this place and put an end to the independence of this obscure island it was the imperial roman army who came saw and conquered this place the romans sailed in through the sea and established a settlement by building a bridge across the river thames This new port soon became the largest city in the Roman province of Britannia. It was the new citadel of Par, which they named Londinium, famously known today as London. The Romans used the Thames as a key to the rest of the empire. effectively making londinium a crossroads that helped control britain and its trade perhaps just like how centuries later the british east india company would use the hogli to establish the trade settlement in kolkata The initial Roman settlement here was attacked by a massive force of native tribes led by the warrior queen Boudica who is said to have defied Roman patriarchy and led her people to glory even in defeat Londinium was however rebuilt as a planned town till the romans finally abandoned it in the mid 5th century it took me 15 long years to revisit this historic seat of par i vividly remember that day in the summer of 2007 coming out of the westminster underground tube station I had ignorantly inquired about the iconic clock tower only to be smilingly pointed out by a polite londoner that young man you're standing right under the big pen the city of westminster is the site of the united kingdom's houses of parliament and many of london's landmarks can be explored on foot here parliament square is home to a number of notable statues of political figures prominent amongst whom is a very own mahatma This location is also known as a meeting place for celebrations and protests. Quite honestly, I have found the locals here to be fairly outspoken and yet they are genuinely warm and very polite. Trafalgar Square is a public square at the center of which is a high column 
bearing a statue of Admiral Nelson and guarded by four lions. The square has been used for community gatherings and political demonstrations. Thousands of protesters can be seen here freely expressing their dissent, fighting for their respective causes and vociferously chanting slogans. <laughs> Groups, small and large, representing various ethnicities, nationalities and geographies, seek justice and legitimate support for their demands. All these processions only speak volumes of how London has over the years accommodated and welcomed people from across the globe to live together and become a melting pot of cultures. With barely a few hours remaining, I had just enough time to steal a glimpse of the royal residence, the Buckingham Palace. I'm glad that I could pack in so much in a single day. In my mind, however, I have been drawing similarities between this city on the bank of Thames and the distant other on the banks of Hookley. Hope you will join me as I cut new on my journey to explore, learn and discover. Thank you.